For most people, maintaining good health involves paying attention to food choices. And some people go a little bit further in search of that optimum diet they feel could guarantee an excellent health. However, there could be a fine line between striving for that optimal diet and becoming obsessed with eating only what might be considered the healthiest foods. But this obsession can lead to a daily routine of meticulously planning meals and avoiding eating anything considered unhealthy, which can cause mental distress, especially when other events disrupt this routine. Orthorexia is a term coined by Dr. Stephen Brackman that describes this obsession. So what more does this obsession with healthy eating entail? And what could this be detrimental to overall health? Let's delve into this. Hi, I'm Dr. Francisco Sagi. Thank you for joining me and Francisca on Health Matters. The term orthorexia translates to a fixation on righteous eating or healthy eating. And as a proposed eating disorder, it's yet to gain recognition by the American Psychiatric Association and hence no established criterion on the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual for Mental Disorders, that is the DSM. However, some health associations and organizations of some countries, including the US, recognize and see this condition as a concern and are rousing its awareness and indeed have established certain criteria for its recognition. Now, as an eating disorder, what are the distinguishing features between orthorexia and anorexia? While both disorders involve restrictive eating, however, the person who has anorexia nervosa has the fear of gaining weight and is obsessed about the food quantity. People with orthorexia are obsessed with healthy eating and the food quality and most times have no fear of weight gain nor harbor distorted body image. It's also important to note that so far, orthorexia is found in both men and women with no significant gender differences. Wondering why this should be a health problem? With the promotion and push of healthy eating habits and the display of the perfect body and recommendation of certain diets to attain weight loss and the best health especially in media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, and social media platforms, it is no wonder why the emergence and rise of this condition. And I, being one of those promoters of the healthy lifestyle, do feel the responsibility to highlight the need for a balance in all pursuits, with the aim to attain well physical and mental health. The next question is, how can we ensure safe practice of healthy eating and avoid such an obsession? The answer, awareness of such condition. There are tools in the form of questionnaires that screen for the condition that can be used by clinicians. These serve as pointers to this condition, one of which is the AUTO-R, which was crafted from an initial set of 15 questions referred to as AUTO-15. AUTO-R comprises six questions that are scored an assessment is based on scoring. These questions are, do you spend more than three hours a day thinking about your diet? Do you plan your meals several days ahead? Is the nutritional value of your meal more important than the pleasure of eating it? Has the quality of your life decreased as the quality of your diet has increased? Have you become stricter with yourself lately? Do you feel guilty when you stray from your diet? You might ask, how does one being very conscious and extremely intentional about what one eats translate to unhealthy? Think about being with family or friends at a social gathering with lots of food being served, such as during a wedding reception, a birthday party, or even Thanksgiving dinner but not being able to focus on the events and the people to celebrate with, but obsessing over whether the food meets one standard of being healthy and pure. Also, think about missing a full range of benefits certain foods have to offer because they are said to contain ingredients that are deemed unhealthy or not pure. This is of course exclusive to certain people who must restrict the intake of certain foods 
due to certain medical conditions. Overall, these risks the development of malnutrition. Indeed, there could be a thin line between healthy eating and having an obsession for healthy eating. But if this becomes a challenging distinction, my personal tip is this. If you are constantly preoccupied with thoughts about ensuring the healthiest foods are available to you and beginning to feel distressed or anxious over any possibility of not eating right, it might be time to consider having a discussion with your physician, your therapist, or your dietitian. Also, a physical health check might reveal deficiency in the numbers, be it the body's electrolytes or hormonal imbalances, which could be an indicator of malnutrition. A main issue here is being mindful and recognizing when your drive to attain quality foods is becoming detrimental to your quality of living. Be aware of and alert to the emergence of stress and being distressed when it comes to food choices. Again, I hope you found this informative and educative. And if you have, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.